Welcome to the Brand Sand Woodwind Shop. In the last video, I put some penetrating oil on the slides and also on the valves of this trumpet to help loosen them up. That was a few weeks ago. Several times since then, I put more penetrating oil on here. Usually when valves are stuck and I cannot get them out by hand, I'll use part of a drumstick and I will put it in the bottom of the valve. And then I'll tap it out with a rawhide mallet. I'm going to try that on this one. But I'm guessing that it will not work though. I think those valves are stuck a little more than that. Okay, that one did not move. Let's try this one. I don't think those valves moved. I figured that the drumstick would not work. So I also made this with the lathe. It's just a cylindrical piece of metal and it's about the right size to fit in there. And I have never gotten a valve out this way before, but then again, I've never had any valves that were that stuck either. To get things unstuck, there are two types of forces you can use. You can use the tapping force, like I just did with the drumstick, or you can use a pushing force. Sometimes one of those forces can destroy an instrument while the other one works just fine. I think that's going to be the case on this one. I think if I kept tapping until the valve came out, it would probably destroy the valve. So now I'm going to try to push the valve out. What I'm going to do to get the valves unstuck from this trumpet, I have never done before, and I do not suggest that anybody tries this. When you see me do this, you're probably going to cringe and think that I'm going to destroy the instrument. And to be honest with you, I might destroy the instrument, but it is worthless the way it is. So here it goes. I have a valve cap. I'm going to use it to protect the threads on the top of the casing. It is not the one that goes with this trumpet. I, it's one I just found. It fits onto there. It's also a bottom valve cap, and this is on the top. But I'm just using that for protection. So now I'm going to put this in here in the vise. I have this cylindrical piece of metal that I made on the lathe, and it fits in there fairly tightly. And I want to show you something here. Uh, there's a little cap that goes into the valve. It goes on the bottom of the valve. If I put something inside of that cap, I would be pushing so hard it would just push that cap loose. It would become unsoldered and then it would work its way down the valve and it would damage the ports inside of the valve. I do not want to do that. So this, it's uh, it fits in fairly tightly there. So this piece of metal it's going to push on the outside of the valve to keep the inside from getting pushed in. I'm putting the trumpet in the vise and I'm putting this piece of metal right there. And then I'm going to tighten that. Uh, okay. You know, I'm going to... Okay, right now it's pretty loose, but I am going to tighten that up a little bit more. I'm going to do it slowly. I'm also going to watch to see if it's moving at all. Okay, I heard some noise. It sounded like it moved a little bit. I also want to make sure this thing does not go sideways too. Okay, let's see if anything moved at all. I can't tell if anything moved. I don't think anything got damaged, which is good. So I'm going to keep going. And I also want to make sure that this is pushing evenly and that it's not off to the side or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. It does not look like anything is moving, which is a little concerning. So I do not want to put too much pressure because this is brass and it can be destroyed by too much force. It does not look like anything moved at all. I think what I might do is push it through the top instead. Uh, there might be so much junk up on the top there that it might be stuck on there, pushing it that way. If I push it the other way, there's not as much stuff holding that back. So it might want to go this way easier than going this way. So I'm going to try pushing it through the top and see what happens. 
I'm going to do that pretty much the same way. And I need to find another valve cap that will fit on there because this one does not fit. I found another valve cap that will fit on there. I'm going to do it pretty much the same way. I'm just pushing it through the other side. Okay, and then I need to line it up. I also want to make sure that the, um, the vise is not pushing on the lead pipe or any other part of the trumpet. Okay, let's see if it wants to go through this way or not. Okay, I think it might be moving. I'm not sure. I'm going to take off the valve cap and see if anything has changed. Not really. Okay, I'm going to try this again. And I'm feeling for anything that might be going wrong. Okay, something moved there. I'm hoping it was the valve coming out of the casing and not something being damaged. Hmm. Can't tell for sure. I'm hoping that I'm not damaging the baluster on the valve inside of there. Can't really tell with the valve inside of there though. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push it back the other way and if it did move even if it's the smallest amount it should start working itself loose if I go back and forth with it. I'm lining it up again and in case if you're wondering why I'm using the middle of the vise and not the jaws that's because they don't open up that wide. Okay here I go and I'm going to and as I do this I'm feeling and listening it may look like I'm using a lot of pressure when I'm pulling on this, but I'm actually not using a lot of pressure. I'm just being very careful not to go too far. Hmm. Okay. I did not see or hear anything. I'm checking it out just to make sure that we're still good. Okay. Now I'm going to go a little bit farther. Okay, well something definitely happened there. And again, I'm hoping that it's the valve coming loose and not anything else. I can't really tell if this is moving. It might be moving just such a little bit that I can't really tell the difference. But uh, what I'm going to do is put a little bit more oil on this so that if it is moving, the oil is going to start working its way in. And like I say, once it moves even just a little bit, you keep working it back and forth and then it'll go a little farther each time and then it will eventually come out. But you just need to get it started. It might have loosened up a little bit and it might have loosened up a little easier this time than last time, which is good. if it that is the case. That means, oh yeah, I think it is coming out now. It's starting to come out a little bit. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth until it works its way loose. I'm not going to make you watch me do that several times, so I'll let you know when something happens to this. I've pushed the valve back and forth probably about 20 times, and that's what I have right there. It's uh, gone down a considerable amount. Um, another thing, too, the valve guide was stuck inside of the valve and I couldn't get it out because uh, the valve was pushed down too far. But once I got it up a little bit farther like that, I could move the valve guide around inside of there. It was a little tricky, but I had a little pliers that I used to get that out of there. And I worked its way loose, so there's that. So now I can push this valve out the bottom. Before I could not push it out the bottom because the valve guide would get stuck in there if once it went out a little bit. So now I can go out the bottom. So I'm going to push on it again. You can see that the valve went down all the way now. 
Now I'm going to try to push it through that way. I'm going to do that with a drumstick. It might actually be able to be tapped out with the drumstick now. I tried to be very careful to the trumpet, but I did do a little bit of damage there. There's a dent in there. I will remove that dent later. And again, that was not the safest way to work on a trumpet, but I did what I needed to do. Let's see if this is coming out at all. Mm does not look like it is. I'm going to tap a few more times. See if it will come loose. Okay, larger mallet. If this does not come out with the tapping, I'm going to need to put it in the vise a few more times to try to loosen it up a little bit more. Okay, it is coming out. The valve is now a little bit lower than the casing. It's not coming out fast, but it is coming out. Like I say, if it just moves even a little bit, it will come out. Okay, it is coming out now. You can see it's a little farther than it was before. So I'm going to keep tapping. After a couple hundred taps, it's made it out that far. So we'll keep going. Coming up quicker now. There it is. There is the stubborn valve. Um, hmm. Doesn't look that bad. Um, I did expand the baluster a little bit at the top. I'm going to have to fix that, but that should not be too hard to fix. So I think this valve is going to be okay. Now I'm going to do the second valve. I'm going to do it the same way as the third valve. So if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. Other than that, I'll show you when it gets out. I got the second valve out. That only took about 10 minutes. When I took out the second valve, I found out a whole bunch of junk inside of there. And it was actually inside of the ports of the valve too. And here's part of it. And it looks like it's parts of bugs. And then they looked like they got a little burned. So I'm wondering if maybe this uh, trumpet suffered a fire. Uh, however, it did not melt the solder joints. So the fire had to be just hot, but not flames on the instrument. So it almost makes you wonder, since it came from California, if it was stuck in a wildfire or something like that. Um, okay, the next thing I need to do is pull out the first valve. And there is an issue because that is smaller than it should be. So I cannot fit this in there. Uh, not at all. It's not even close. So I have to um, expand this back to where it was before. The best way to do that would be to put a ground casing mandrel through the top of the valve and then tap it until this becomes round. The problem is there's a valve in the way so I obviously I cannot do that. So I have to come in through the bottom. So I think I'm also going to use ground casing mandrels. So what I'm going to do is uh, put the ground casing mandrel in from the bottom and they are tapered a little bit at the end so I should be able to fit that in there and expand it a little bit until the casing mandrel hits the valve but that might open it up enough to fit this in there just need to get this opened up enough to get the valve out so I'll start by tapping on this it'll start to open it up a little bit now I think I'm going to move to a different mandrel It's opened up a little bit more than it was. Uh, I still need to go a little farther though. I opened it up enough for this to fit in there. So now I'm going to push that out. Uh, and instead of going out the bottom, this time I'm going to have to go out the top because this is still messed up enough that the valve should not come out. It will destroy the valve to come out that way. So I have to go out through the top uh, that might be an issue because there is more junk on the top inside of the casing than on the bottom. 
but we just have to do it that way. So I'm going to start pushing it. Again, I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just to loosen it up. Once it's loose, then I'm going to go out through the top. I got all three valves out. I never thought I would do an entire video on removing valves from a trumpet, because usually you can do that in a few seconds. But, well, anyway, this one took a while. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some penetrating oil into the valves, and then that's going to get into the slides, so the penetrating oil can work from both sides on the slide tubes. And then the next video, I'm going to remove the tuning slides, or at least I'm going to try to. I think I can probably do it. Uh, it will probably be difficult, but I think I can do it. Remember that this is not a normal way to get valves out. If you try it, you will probably damage your instrument. So only try this repair if you are an experienced band instrument repair technician and all other methods have failed. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.